Welcome to Electron Line. In our next video on the various shapes of molecules, we're now going to look at something called the trigonal planar with a free electron pair. Now, we've seen it before in a previous video. Uh, that's, matter of fact, that's what water, the water molecule looks like, but we're going to look at sulfur dioxide and we'll see that it looks pretty well the same as water. But again, what does that really mean? What does trigonal planar mean? Well, trigonal trigonal planar simply means that there's a central atom with three more atoms attached to it, kind of all in the same plane. But in this case, one of the atoms, one of the outside atoms, is going to be replaced by a free electron pair. And we'll see in just a moment why that is so with sulfur dioxide. First of all, sulfur is going to be the central atom. It's less electronegative than oxygen, so it's going to be in the center. So we expect to see something like this. Sulfur with uh, two oxygens, like so. Now, remember that sulfur has, let's see, seven, no, six valence electrons, right? So sulfur has six valence electrons, and uh, oxygen also has six valence electrons. So that means that sulfur has six electrons to bond with, oxygen has six electrons to bond with. How many electrons, how many bonds do they need? Well, oxygen would like to have eight valence electrons. Since it only has six, it needs two more. So if it forms two bonds or a double bond, it can be satisfied. So you're going to probably see a double bond over here between the sulfur and the oxygen and a double bond over here between the sulfur and the oxygen, which means that the oxygen then will have four free electrons or two free electron pairs, like so, and this oxygen will have the same. Now, since sulfur also started with six electrons and it only has four tied up in the bonds, it has two additional electrons, so it'll form another free electron pair like that. Now, the reason why the shape will now be determined by that is because there's repulsive forces between the electrons that are tied up in the bonds and the free electrons right here. So there's going to be a repulsive force between them. Let me grab my red pen here. So these are going to be pushing against each other. Those are going to be pushing against each other because of the repulsive force and the molecule will, be, will bend away from where the free electron pair is. So you'll end up with something that looks like this, a sulfur with two oxygens this way, two oxygens this way, and then the free electron pair there. So you can see that the, the repulsive forces will bend the oxygens away from the electron pair. Now normally, if you have a situation where there's three electrons, uh, I'm sorry, three atoms and a central atom like that, then the bond angles between them will be exactly 120 degrees. Well, what happens here is that the repulsive forces between the free electrons and the bond electrons is stronger than the repulsive forces between the electrons tied up in bonds like that. So it turns out that this angle will now become smaller and these angles will become bigger. It turns out that this angle now will only be about 119 degrees instead of 120 degrees. So you can see that there's a little bit more force pushing those atoms a little bit further uh, together like that. So that, would, that is then a situation where you have a trigonal planar uh, setup. So everything is still in the same plane, but you have more of a bending between the, uh, uh, of the oxygens pushing away like that. So we can imagine if we draw a plane, if we want to see the shape, we have the central atom right here, which is the sulfur. Then we'll have one atom going this way. Uh, that will be the oxygen, another atom going this way, and oxygen. And then we have the free electron pair like that. So all in a single plane. That's where the name came from, trigonal planar. And also notice the VSEPR notation. This is the valence shell electron uh, pair repulsion. Hmm, almost forgot what it meant. So electron pair repulsion. So we have one central atom, we have two uh, atoms at the end, and then we have one electron pair, and that's how we write that.